All of us have an obligation to safeguard the interests of the country. As part of total defence, all of us must come together and uh, make sure that we are all prepared. A threat doesn't give a notice to you, it comes without a warning. If we don't get our guys to prepare themselves, when it really does happen and we are not prepared, I think we'll be in for a bigger shock. If we don't get ourselves ready, we will never be able to defend the things that hold close to us. I am being called upon to bear arms and to defend the country, rest assured I'll be there. Because this is my homeland, it's my duty to protect everybody. Whenever we carry our duties, we know that what we are doing is to protect our home, our loved ones. This COVID-19 really hit us hard and uh, we really didn't see it coming. So when we were called up, we had the opportunity to serve, then it was something that I decided I want to do. The nature of this operation is very dynamic as there's no precedence of anything similar. Right off the bat, everyone was on the ball. Uh, let's do this one time, good one, and go home. They all agreed to help partake in this operation to help these people despite the fact that we were putting ourselves in a risk. We pressed on, although uh, we have that sense of uh, faithfulness in ourselves, but we managed to overcome it uh, as a battalion. We know that the enemy is everywhere. We don't even know where is it. It is not on the map. We need to take that extra precautionary measures to ensure that we are all equipped, Okay, we are all ready if ever the enemy were to strike us. What COVID-19 has taught me about readiness is that the overall readiness of a country does not only rely on the government, everybody needs to play along. We weren't united with a fear of something, but we were united because we had this constant camaraderie in our total defence mindset, and that's what kept us together. I would definitely like to thank my company, and that includes my bosses and my colleagues, for always being there and for always understanding what I need to do whenever I have to step away from my ICT duties. I would like to uh, appreciate my, my, of course, my colleagues and my those covering officers during my absence because my work is not easy. Also, I was also grateful, um, really grateful to my school, um, my my workplace. I would like to thank my company for allowing me to go back for my annual in-camp training without deferment. My MD, especially, and uh, my management, uh, they allow me to go, and they don't hesitate. I would like to thank my boss for actually standing in for me while I'm away and out of office uh, to help me oversee the projects and to support me through my ICT time. My parents who, who have uh, taught me to return back to society and as, of course uh, to the country as the saying goes Especially uh, my mum, uh, who has taught me that um, despite negativity from others, we should learn the art of balancing uh, being firm, being empathetic and also being uh, respectful. My mum will always be that constant reminder to tell me, hey, stay safe. It's, it's reminders like this from your parents that keeps me grounded to remember that what I'm all doing all this for is actually for the family and, and, and for the country. Most importantly would be my parents and my family because when I'm gone, they will give me support, nothing but support. When I'm tired, uh, I'll just think of them and it will push me through my duties and the day. They have encouraged me to go for every ICT and also to be more involved in total defence. My mother was, uh, I could tell she was slightly more on edge but you know, she put her worries aside and she understood that there are certain duties that we do need to fulfill, so I want to thank my mom. My wife, uh, for being able to look after the, uh, the children. No wife, no ICT. They will never say the two words which is go differ. They will ask you, okay, go complete, do it well, be safe, come home to your family. My dearest wife, her words of encouragement um, motivates me whenever I go for fire calls. I know that there's always someone at home that I need to return to. My grandmother. My daughter. My business partner. My girlfriend. I think this one I need to thank her. <laughs> my girlfriend. The owners of restaurants who generously donated food, ice cream. They 
provided us with a source of motivation, even though COVID had hit their earnings. To that taxi driver and to that Gap driver, I would like to say a very big thank you for picking me up. It's been a long day for me by you welcoming me, acknowledging the fact that uh, you know that I'm actually close contact with the patients. I'm actually very grateful and I would like to say a very big thank you.